Have you ever caught a walleye and noticed these strange growths on them? These wart-like structures are certainly unsightly, but what causes them? How dangerous are they to the fish, and do they pose a health risk to humans who catch and eat them? In this video, we'll attempt to answer all these questions, so stick around. So on a recent fishing trip with my nephew, we landed a walleye that had these growths on them. Now I've caught these before in the Detroit River, uh, and it seems like the last couple years I've caught more of them than I ever did before. So what's going on here? So these lesions or warts are usually caused by one of two viruses that walleye contract in the Lake Erie Basin. Uh, one is called the walleye dermal sarcoma virus, or WDSV for short, and the other is called lymphocystivirus. The way that these two different viruses present uh, their condition in the fish are very similar and they're very difficult to tell apart. But the good news is we don't really need to worry about that because they both affect the fish in very similar ways and uh, the, the results on both the fish and on the folks that, like us that eat and catch them are basically the same. So although these lesions occur in many fish species, walleye and sauger seem to be particularly susceptible to them. In fact, there's a bulletin that I ran across from the Ohio Sea Grant Extension Program and the Ohio State University, and it states that walleye are the only species in Lake Erie where lymphocystis is commonly found. So how do these viruses affect the fish? Well, again, according to that same bulletin from Ohio State, both lymphocystis and dermal sarcomas aren't fatal to fish. It's also interesting to note that both of these viruses tend to be much more prevalent in the springtime, uh, especially lymphocystis. Generally, it fades away during the late summer, fall, and winter. So if you do catch fish with these lesions, it will likely happen during the spring spawning run. And so finally, the question I'm sure you're hoping to get answered here in this video is, are these fish safe to eat? And after doing a bunch of research and checking out various websites, both in the U.S. and Canada, the overwhelming answer is, yes, they're safe to eat. So if you do happen to run across one of these fish during your spring walleye fishing trips, uh, don't let it bother you. Certainly, if you don't want to eat them, you can always throw them back. But if you do decide to keep them and fry them up, just make sure that you're removing the skin and cooking the fish thoroughly and you should be fine. 